In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Terraform together with AWS IAM. IAM stands for Identity and Access Management. You probably already know that you can create users and groups in Amazon using IAM, but you can also create roles. And those roles you can attach to EC2 instances. And that allows you to give permissions to EC2 instances to use other AWS services like for instance, S3 buckets. I will now show you how to use Terraform to give an EC2 instance access using IAM to an S3 bucket. To create the AWS role resources, we are going to create a new file, iam.tf. And in iam.tf, I'm going to add a few resources. The first resource I'm going to add is going to be the IAM role. I'm just going to copy paste this from documentation. And I'm going to call this EC2 role. And this is going to be our test role. So this creates an IAM role, but this AWS IAM role, we're not going to be able to link to our instances. For that, we need a EC2 instance role. So we're going to go back to the documentation. I'm going to add an AWS IAM instance profile. This is the profile that we can link to the EC2 instance. We cannot really link the role itself. So I'm just going to copy paste this, this resource. And I'm going to paste that here. I'm going to call this also EC2 role. I'm going to refer to my EC2 role here. If you would execute this, we would have a role and an instance profile, but with no permissions. We need to add policies. The policies are going to allow the EC2 instance to execute certain commands, for instance, access to S3. So I'm going to go back to the documentation and I'm going to add an AWS IAM role policy. And this policy is going to define what we have access to. So here, the example here, we have here access to the, the EC2 describe commands. What I want to do is I want to give access to my EC2 instance to get and put objects in an S3 bucket. So I'm going to copy paste this and I'm going to change it a little bit. So I'm going to take away this policy. I'm going to rename this to ec2 role policy because this is going to be the policy for this role ec2 role policy I'm going to refer here to this role this policy will be applicable for the role but also for the instance profile so those two are linked together to this policy document. So this is the role I'm going to use. Two statements. First statement gives me access to all the S3 commands to the resource my bucket B39AC1. I just added this random string here to make sure that this bucket is unique in this region. Second statement just allows me to list all my buckets when I do AWS S3 ls i will then see all my buckets i need to add this otherwise i wouldn't even be able to list the available buckets and some of the commands would then fail let me also create a file s3.tf and here we're just going to create the new bucket so here i'm just creating a new aws s3 bucket with the same name that i used in my im policy and it's a private bucket and then to connect the new instance profile to a running AWS instance, we can reuse AWS.tf from one of the previous videos. If this doesn't look familiar to you, you can have a look at the previous video where I explain AWS.tf. The only change we have to make here is we need a IAM instance profile equals, and then we just refer to the AWS IAM instance profile, EC2 role, name. 
And this will make sure that this AWS instance, when it boots up, gets connected to the instance profile. And this can only happen at boot. So you cannot do it after the instance has been created. If you still want to do it after you created your instance, you'll have to terminate your instance first, and then you can attach another instance profile. Now I should be able to run Terraform apply to then add all those resources. So you see here EC2 role policy complete, and then it's going to create my web instance with this role attached. Once this is created, then I can SSH to this instance and I should be able to use S3 commands without having to configure keys myself. So let me now SSH to this instance using my key. Just need to install the AWS command line utility. With apt-get, I can just install the AWS command line utility. If you want the latest version though, I would recommend to install it using pip. This one comes from the repository, which is not always the latest version. So when AWS is installed, I can do AWS S3 LS, my bucket. My bucket is currently empty. So let me just create a test file, test.txt. And if I then do AWS S3 CP test.txt into my S3 bucket, then when I do ls again, I will see my test.txt. And this all without configuring my keys. The configuration of the keys actually happens automatically using the metadata. And this metadata, you can see if you just go to this URL. So this comes from the AWS documentation. This is always the same IP address, and we can use curl to query this metadata. So if we would go to the directory IAM, we can see info and security credentials. In info, we see our instance profile ARN, which has been created. So this is our EC2 profile. If we then would want to see our security credentials, then we could open this file here and then we would see the access key ID and the secret access key. And this is how the AWS tool receives the access key ID and the secret key ID. And this is randomly generated. It, you can see it has an expiration date. It's only valid for a couple of hours and then the keys automatically rotate. That's it. I hope you found it interesting. You can see that using IAM roles, it is the most safest way to give permissions to your EC2 instances to allow EC2 instances to access other AWS resources like S3 buckets. If you have any questions, use the comment section below.